Hi, I'm Gabe Nicotera. Welcome to Hamped Up. Y'all ready for this? Last year, the girls' softball team lost six key seniors, including now D3 catcher Abigail Pilas. This season, Caitlin Romdith is taking over, so I interviewed her about her role behind the plate. Um, I'm personally not nervous. I mean, Marissa's been like practicing over the off season, and I've been practicing over the off season. And everyone's been like playing fall ball and stuff. So I think that we're re really pumped up for the season to begin. I mean, we do have a lot of seventh and eighth graders, but like they're working hard and. During tryouts, they've been working really hard, so I think we're going to be okay. I think there is an advantage having the coach uh, have a catcher who previously played because she came to practices and she started helping me and she's been helping me with my stance and stuff. So I think that that's useful. The girls also have a new pitcher on the mound this year, so I caught up with Marissa Lynn Batterini where she gave me a pitching lesson. So as we know, Anna Kerwood, the varsity pitcher the last four years, went off to play D3 softball, and now you're the pitcher this year. So what's it like being thrown into the biggest position on the field? Um, I guess I kind of expected it because I was a backup pitcher my three years of varsity softball, but um, it's not. I wouldn't call it my ideal position I would like to be playing my senior year, but I'm ready to see what this season is going to turn out like. If you could pick one of last year's teammates to fail senior year and have another season, who would it be? Um, easily Anna Kerwood. And why is that? Because she's probably one of the best pitchers in Western Mass and I would really enjoy if she could pitch this season. And as for the team goes this year, what do you think your strength and weakness is? I would say that our strength is probably that it might not directly affect us this year, but we have a lot of younger kids who are going to be coming up and they'll be able to like build up the program because we only have five upperclassmen within the whole softball program. Um, so the younger kids are really going to have to step up and I think they've been working really hard. So they're probably our strength along with like our core group of girls that we already have. And our weakness, um, Probably just that we're going to have to rebuild like our team chemistry again because we always had the same group since we were in like kindergarten and that's changed this year. So we're definitely going to have to work on like working as a whole unit. And I guess my last question is do you think you can give me just a quick pitching lesson? Of course. First you want to step onto the mound and you want your feet to be a little staggered like this. So your left foot is going to be forward and your right foot's going to be a little bit farther behind it. Yep. Okay and then you're going to bring your hands together and then you're kind of going to go up in your toes a little bit to get some power and then you're going to spring, start bringing your arms up and then as you bring your arms up you're going to twist <laughs> into a K and then you're going to come down here into an I yep. and then you're going to finish together and you're going to, yeah, but when you do it you like want to really like bring it, tuck your body <laughs> close. Like you wanna, <laughs> yes, yes, there you go. It's a follow through. Yeah, the that's what it is. Through. Do you mind if I try? Yeah, go for it. Yep. Arms up. Arms up. Twist. And now we're gonna start bringing your leg out. Yep. Arm above your head. Yep. Yep. Now come to this land. All right, yep. Strike. Strike. <laughs> yeah. The softball team's first game is next Tuesday, April 2nd in East Hampton. Thanks for watching Hamped Up. I'm Gabe Nicotera.